What a dope time to be a part of the battle rap community, bro. It is currently a very, very dope time to be a part of the battle rap community, bro. We got crazy announcements from left and right from multiple different leagues. Yes, multiple, not just one. We got battlers coming out speaking their truths. Warren going to war with the machine. Exposing all types of things behind the scenes, bro. What a time to be a part of the battle rap community, bro. Let's talk about it. Wow. Okay, 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 bro. My head is about to explode. My head is about to explode, bro. There's too many dope situations happening left and right, bro. All around us. Everywhere. Not just over at the URL. Not just at the URL, bro. We got ARP, bro, coming out, making his major announcements, bro. a -ver versus A-Ward. Ill Will versus Hitman Holla. Young Ill versus Big K. Bro, Young Ill returning. Bro, apparently, there are more crazy announcements to come on this card. As if we don't already have enough battles right now, crazy events to pay attention to, bro. They got more dope announcements coming up, bro. What could ARP possibly be cooking up? We already got... Two to three crazy batches on this card already, bro. We got Remy Ma. Just, just dropped an announcement, bro. For a card called I Do What I Want. What a time to be alive in battle rap, bro. To be a part of this community right now. I do what I want. A clear message, bro. To the recent drama and controversy that's been circling both Chrome 23 and URL, as well as Easy the Block Captain. A clear response to that entire situation, so subtle, <clears throat> yet so clear. Remy Ma, genius. Chess moves, bro. But not only that, we got a major, major announcement already on this card, bro. Geechee Gotti versus Easy the Block Captain. Something that the battle rap community has been asking to see, bro. Something that we actually want to see. Remy Ma coming into this culture, bro. Trying to cater to the battle rap community. Trying to cater specifically to the females in the battle rap community, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. Just want to point that out and show my respect to that. Because the females have been lacking exposure in battle rap for a long time. That's a fact. A major hip-hop figurehead, bro, coming into battle. Y'all think about that, man. Put that into perspective. Put it perspective. Remy Ma coming in, slowly dominating, bro, slowly dominating the male battle rap side as well. <clears throat> Giving us crazy battles, bro, like Easy, the block captain versus Hitman Holla. The most popular and undefeated battle rapper versus possibly quite potentially the biggest battle rapper to ever battle rap something that the url wasn't trying to do simply because of politics and business bro what a time to be a part of the battle rap community bro but we have other leagues other major leagues bro that are trying to cater to the battle rap community bro and give us what we want Apparently, there's some major announcements coming up on this card, bro. There's a rumor out there, a rumor that K-Shine, Lord, please let this be true. Please do not just let this be a rumor. Let this be true. We already got one rumor going around with Briz Rothstein. Show Off said that Briz was going to pop up on, you know what I'm saying, the Max Out card versus... Show out, show out versus Briz Rothstein and Blase Blah. We don't know if that's true. No announcements have come out. 
But I also heard a rumor recently that K-Shine might potentially be battling Briz Rawstein on Chrome 23. Bro. How crazy would that be? How insane would that be? K-Shine, taking into consideration his recent controversy and drama and issues with the URL, currently still going through them, bro. Recently going back and forth with Smack on Twitter, bro, talking and disrespecting each other, bro. Imagine K Shine popping up on this called card on this card called I Do What I Want. This is not proved. This is not true. I'm not sure if this is the case, but I'm hearing word that's just a rumor. But the point being the possibilities, the things that could potentially happen when you're not just focused or paying attention to one league. And it's not just one league giving us battles. The possibilities where we take away the politics, where we try and be fair with these independent contractors. Then we got easy to block captain. Easy to block captain, bro. And the trenches situation. Dope situation, bro. Card called Nostalgia. Why? Because it's Philly versus New York. Two of the meccas of battle rap. Two and multiple, actually, nostalgic battlers on the card. Head Ice versus Hollow Man. Reed Dollars versus Oom P. That's already Nostalgia. Easy's doing his thing over there with the trenches. Unfortunately for URL, when they tried to, or when they did, sabotage Easy's The Trenches 1 card, URL inadvertently also gave The Trenches a lot of momentum at the same time. All that controversy and drama worked in Easy's favor at the end of the day. Because now The Trenches is a thing is an actual actual thing is a real thing and a lot of people know about it including a lot of url people because the url was sabotaging the card and blocking battles so url inadvertently actually gave this league momentum as opposed to trying to stop it which is what they was trying to do that was the idea behind what they were doing blocking battles sabotaging the event that was the idea but it failed and now the trenches is an actual thing bro we on part two Card called Nostalgia, Philly versus New York. Dope, dope idea, bro. What a time to be alive in battle rap, bro. Then we got the riot. Came bearing gifts. Most recent announcement, bro. Being Jazz the Rapper versus Rum Nitty. Jazz the Rapper. That's a Summer Madness type battle, bro. Why isn't something like this on Summer Madness? Why is it that a battle this big isn't on Summer Madness? Why? What a time to be a part of battle rap, man. What a time, bro. As far as Jazz versus Rum Nitty, bro, I don't like the fact that people are sleeping on Jazz. Jazz is super fire. And I think Jazz might actually clearly beat Rum Nitty, bro. I think because Jazz be talking, bro. Jazz will talk to your soul. Rum Nitty doesn't talk to your soul. He'll give us a lot of dope and cool bars. But for me, the personals, the directness of a Jazz the Rapper versus Rum Nitty, I like. Let me know what y'all think of this, man. Let me know what y'all think of everything right now, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Drew coming at you live and direct from the battle.